Hello and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today's topic is Awareness Leads to Change in Perspective. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. I love this quote. It's uh, attributed to Oprah Winfrey. It says, the smallest change in perspective can transform a life. What tiny attitude adjustment might turn your world around? So let's think about that as we move forward. When you take responsibility for your actions that are creating the results that you experience in your life, you will feel empowered and in control. You will understand that if you can create a negative result, you can also create a positive result. Your mind likes everything to be efficient, unconscious, and effortless. But when you begin to learn new habits and make changes, your days become cumbersome and awkward. Changing ingrained patterns takes a lot of effort, attention, and it's very tedious. That's why change is so difficult. We have to be deliberate, uncomfortable, and aware. The process of changing one unconscious habit to a new conscious habit long enough to make the new habit unconscious is challenging. We need to rehearse the new thought, feeling, or habit mentally so much that it becomes real to us. Most of us want to believe something new and different, but we're not willing to practice believing it. Your perspective is how you choose to see the world. It's the way you construct your view and opinion of things. It's the story you tell yourself in order to make sense of life, events, and relationships. Unfortunately, with so much conflicting information and so many people telling you what they think, it's easy to be influenced. As a result, your perception becomes distorted, and that can affect the way you live your life and the decisions that you make. Our perceptions of circumstances, our thoughts, lead to feelings, actions, and results. Only when we can consciously separate facts from our opinions about those facts will we be able to fully take control of what we think, feel, and do in our lives. That's how we can create the results we desire. William Constantine said, Your reality is as you perceive it to be. So it is true that by altering this perception, we can alter our reality. Wayne Dyer, Dr. Wayne says, Loving people live in a loving world. Hostile people live in a hostile world. Same world. And Stephen Covey says, We must look at the lens through which we see the world as well as the world we see, and that the lens itself shapes how we interpret the world. Today's story is Seeing Things Differently. Mr. DeLorico was a very wealthy man with a problem. Mr. DeLorico suffered from pain in his eyes that increased every day. He visited doctors frequently, but nothing they suggested eased his agony. At last, he heard about a monk who was famous for healing those ailments that no doctor could. He had exhausted every other avenue toward healing, so he decided to visit the monk as his last hope for relief from the intense pain in his eyes. Mr. DeLorico visited the monk and told him about his problem. The monk nodded along as he listened and looked carefully at Mr. DeLorico's eyes. Then the monk pronounced his remedy. You should concentrate only on green colors and try not to let your eyes focus on any other color. 
Mr. Delorico was skeptical of this idea, but he trusted the monk's reputation, since he had healed so many others. He was also quite desperate to find relief from the constant pain and determined to try anything. So Mr. Delorico returned home and called his assistants into his office and told them, Buy all the green paint you can find and paint everything that my eyes might see. Anything that cannot be painted must be replaced with something that is green. His assistants set about hiring painters, and in just a few days, everything that surrounded Mr. Delorico was now green. All colors of dishes, curtains, furniture, and appliances were replaced with green only. All the clothing Mr. Delorico and his assistants wore was replaced with a green suit or uniform. Everywhere Mr. Delorico looked, he saw green and only green. A few days later, the monk came to visit Mr. Delorico to find out if he was responding well to the treatment he had advised. One of Mr. Delorico's assistants met the monk at the green front door and covered his yellow and red clothing with a green robe, cap, and slippers. The monk asked why he was now robed in green, and the assistant answered that Mr. Delorico had ordered that everything must be changed to green, including clothing. The assistant told the monk he could now visit with Mr. Delorico since he was now suitably outfitted in green and led him to his office. The monk walked through the halls, shaking his head, surprised and amused at the green walls, ceilings, and carpet he saw. He was led to a green door, and passing through it, he saw Mr. Delorico at his green desk, wearing a green suit and green shoes. The monk asked Mr. Delorico how he was feeling, and he answered, My eyes are less painful every day. The green I see all around me is working. The monk chuckled, and Mr. Delorico, who was puzzled by this, asked, What do you find amusing? The monk answered, You could have purchased a pair of green-colored glasses, rather than going to the great expense and effort of painting everything green and replacing anything in your world that was not green. After all, you cannot paint the whole world green. However, if you simply alter your own perspective and change your personal vision, the world will appear accordingly. So what do you think? Is it easier to change everyone and everything around you? or simply to choose your own perspective? And can you improve your life by becoming aware of your thoughts and opinions and how they color your world? I believe it's easier to change my own mind rather than to change everything around me, um, especially when it comes to other people because we really have no control over, over other people, how they behave, what they say and do, or even what they're going to wear. So it's much easier just to change our thoughts about what's in our world. And can I improve my life by becoming aware of thoughts and opinions? I think so. It's very important to understand the difference between what is fact and what is opinion. And once we do that, we'll be able to control our thoughts so much better and that will help us to get the results that we desire. Don't forget, you can get this free booklet of the slides that you saw today for this story, Seeing Things Differently, at esofterside.com, and that link is in the description box below as well. And the video it will be there as well, so it's easy to find everything in one place, along with a little lesson that goes with today's story. So if you'd like to remember it better, I suggest you check it out at esofterside.com, and you can share that with your family and friends as well. Thank you so much for being here today for Storytelling Therapy, and I'll see you again very soon. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. 
This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.